Hey everybody! I promise I have um, I change my clothes every day. It just so happens that I'm filming a bunch of videos in one day. So if you see me wearing the same outfit, that's why. Okay, so super, super, super important topic, okay, for today's lesson on uh, daily living skills. And so today's lesson is on hygiene and COVID-19. Where do I begin? Well, first, what is hygiene? Hygiene is the things that we do to keep our body clean and healthy. So I'm gonna write hygiene. The things we do to keep our bodies clean and healthy. Now, as I'm writing this, I want you to think about what are some things that you do in your everyday routine to keep your body clean and healthy, okay? So think about that. All right. So hopefully some of you thought of brushing your teeth. Taking a shower. Using deodorant. Alright, those are all great things that we want to do every day to keep our bodies clean and healthy. But there's some specific things I'm going to be focusing on today that really deal with how hygiene, the things we do to keep our bodies clean and healthy, how that topic relates to COVID-19. Now, as many of you know, the reason why we are not in school, why I'm not doing this lesson in person, is because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And so what COVID-19 is, it's basically an illness, it's a virus, right, that's spread through respiratory droplets that come from your mouth and your nose when you breathe, when you talk, when you cough, when you sneeze, and sometimes it can, um, latch onto surfaces, and so we're going to talk about hygiene as it relates to COVID-19, okay? So there's one super important aspect of hygiene that I didn't mention here, and it's something that you do when you use the bathroom, it's something that you do when your hands are dirty. Can you think of what I'm going to add? That's right! Washing your hands, okay? So washing our hands is going to be a super critical part of good hygiene so that we don't get sick and we don't spread germs to other people if we are sick and we don't know it, okay? So washing our hands with, ta-da, with soap, boom. You can use any soap, really, uh, bar soap, liquid soap. I think that they've done some research studies and it uh, determined that as long as you're washing your hands with a type of soap, that's all that matters. Okay, so washing hands with soap. Now, how long do I wash my hands for? Five seconds? 13 seconds? Wrong! 20 seconds! 20 seconds. Now you can count to 20, you can sing a song, you can sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or the birthday song. Um, whatever it takes to wash your hands, we're talking bottom, top, in between, underneath fingernails if you've got long ones, for 20 seconds, okay? So remember that number, 20 seconds. All right. Like I said before, hygiene looks a little bit differently during a pandemic. And again, all of what we're doing is really so that we don't get sick and we don't pass it on to those that we love, okay? So I wash my hands with soap for 20 seconds. Cool, what else can I do? Well, when you are out in public, actually, let me stick with this. If you don't have, if you don't have access to soap, you can also use hand sanitizer. Boom. Um, 
I know hand sanitizer might be hard to find at stores right now, maybe you have some, but it's basically a way of cleaning our hands when we don't have access to running water, okay? So I'm gonna put some hand sanitizer on my hands, and you actually wanna rub it on your hands for the same amount of time as it would take you to wash your hands. So just moving it around. It's gonna take 20 seconds, so you can just hang out with me while I do this. Get in between, got my tops all around. I wanna get a little bit of my wrist too, just in case my wrist touched something or the germs have spread upwards, right? Awesome, okay? So you can wash your hands or you can use hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is also effective in killing germs. So let me add that under here. Hand sanitizer. You wanna make sure that the hand sanitizer that you're using is at least 62% um, ethyl alcohol and most of them are gonna be using ethyl alcohol, okay? Cool. Moving on, whenever we go out in public, when we're around people and let's say that we can't social distance, which means you can't stay six feet away from another person, you're gonna wanna wear this over your nose and mouth. It's called a mask and you wear it like so. And so what this mask does is it prevents any respiratory droplets when I talk or breathe from spreading out into the air and getting other people sick. So really wearing a mask is to prevent other people from getting sick, but it also has protective measures to keep you from getting sick, which is definitely what we want. We want you guys to be healthy and safe, same for your families. So please wear a mask when you go outside. I know that they're not very comfortable, but they can save a life and that's what we're all about. So I'm gonna add, wear a mask outdoors. Okay. And last but not least, you can use wipes. These are alcohol wipes. They are used to wipe down surfaces. Um, let's say that you bought something at the store, you don't know who's touched it or anything like that, so you can use alcohol wipes to clean the surface of things. And you just wipe it around a few times, make sure you get all the nooks and crannies, okay? So that's something else you can do. Um, a quick recap in terms of coughing and sneezing. So normally if you have your mask on, that should take care of any of the droplets or germs that can spread out and get other people sick. But we also know that we can what? Cover our mouth with our hands. <laughs> we can cough into our elbow or sneeze into our elbow. Achoo! And that provides a barrier from getting other people sick. Okay, so when we're in a school setting, you'll have your mask on and if you need to sneeze, you can still do this. You can do chicken wing, right? Use the corner of your elbow and sneeze or cough <laughs> into there. You can cover your mouth like this. And if you use a tissue, make sure you throw it away and wash your hands with soap for 20 seconds afterwards. All right? I will see you guys in our Zoom meeting. Have a great day.